Ah, that is so Iowa. Good luck. Here at Open Mic, we like to start the show by giving you a different humorous look at a couple of things going on in the D.C. area, you know, like Iowa people. I'm starting things off by checking in with our old friends in Loudoun County because they've been bringing it lately. Loudoun County Public Schools sent out a letter warning about the dangers of a series of monthly TikTok challenges, encouraging students all over the country to vandalize, harass, and steal random things on school property. The challenges include smack a staff member on the backside, jab a breast, mess up school signs, and flip off the front office. Soap dispensers yanked off the walls at Fort Foot Elementary School. Dr. Ryan Daniel, the principal, says it was done by students participating in the devious licks challenge they saw on TikTok. TikTok was not a thing five years ago, and I wish it was not a thing now. Go ahead and change the name to the Get Expelled Challenge. That jab a breast and smack a staff member on the backside stuff is going to get folks arrested. Parents will be doing the bail money challenge. When an inmate asks what you in for, the answer should never be TikTok. Social media is, is powerful, and, and I think parents just need to be aware of that and aware of what their kids are, um, are seeing online and Again, making sure that they have those conversations and, and remind their students about appropriate school behavior. Yes, social media is powerful, but there are better ways to get likes. Make up a dance, put a goofy filter on your face, bring back the milk crates if you have to. You know what? Actually, don't. Don't bring back the milk crates. Leave the milk crates alone. That is trading detention for the emergency room if you're lucky. Now, speaking of TikTok, our very own Mayor Muriel Bowser put on her creator shoes and stepped onto the content court yesterday, posting her first TikTok from her new account. Hello, Washington, D.C. and beyond. Welcome to my TikTok. A space to learn about DC government. Washington, D.C. and beyond. I see somebody has been listening to the show opening. I know my words when I hear them. The Honorable Mayor Bowser blessed Beyonce's internet with 17 seconds of TikTok fire. And you know what? She's a natural. Did you catch that emotional range? Man, that was like watching Viola Davis work or somebody reading a hostage letter. If you look closely, you can even see Frederick Douglass nodding along behind her. That is how powerful her delivery was. In all seriousness, I wish the mayor nothing but the best on her TikTok adventures. We can't wait to see her new ones because we love watching social content around here and we love roasting social content even more. Finally, I chose this story because it's happening right here in downtown D.C. The fifth annual Women's March is this Saturday, October 2nd. Pink hats that resemble body parts on deck. A Women's March will stride through downtown D.C. Last year's event concentrated on voting rights, but this year the focus is on abortion. The march is usually in January, but this time it's in the fall to coincide with the Supreme Court's new term. So there'll be pumpkin spice and protests. Now, I'd rather march in a windbreaker than a winter coat, so I'm all for it. I always look forward to the signs, though, at the Women's March because there's so much creativity on display. Salute to all the art teachers out there who taught students how to craft and kept them from making TikTok videos and getting themselves arrested. Somebody send that memo to Muriel Bowser while we're at it.